Runes are fungible tokens that came to Bitcoin where you can create memes, you can create tokens with utility, all on Bitcoin layer one. Some of these are pushing half a billion dollar market caps, if not even more. We're only like four days into the protocol, yet all around my timeline, I am seeing runes are dead. So let's talk about that in this video, what runes are, specific rune tokens I'll leave for the end as some things that I'm watching out for in the market, what's going on in the macro and all of that. So without further ado, let's answer the question, are runes dead? First and foremost, whether to figure out whether our precious runes, meme coins, altcoins are all going to go to zero or moon, we need to first figure out what's happening in the macro market. The entire cryptocurrency market cap hit a, took a 3% hit today as war and uncertainty Uncertainty is rising in the Middle East and the US even taking part of that. While this is not a political channel, all these things, of course, affect the rest of our markets. With that being said, ETF inflows are still, they were at 31 million as of yesterday, April 23rd, uh, totaling 12 billion total. And now that the Bitcoin happening has happened, it really, it, it, there's the same amount of demand um, and it, it doesn't have to even increase whatsoever. Then hypothetically price go up because the amount of sell pressure that might are getting is cut in half. I have plenty of videos on that if you want more further understanding. Founder of Binance CZ faces up to 18 months in prison after pleading guilty. So that's more news. Now, with that being said, CZ's already kind of taken a step back and I don't see how this can dramatically affect the price of everything. This hit, hit, he doesn't necessarily represent Binance as much as he represents himself as Binance was for the most part handed off, but maybe the markets are also partially reacting to that as well. Last but not least, apparently President Biden is pushing for a 44.6% capital gains tax, which will be the highest capital gains tax that the USA has ever seen. We'll see if this unfolds, how it unfolds, if it even gets voted in an office and all of that. Um, but of course, that'd be pretty detrimental to crypto stocks, all those other capital gains, because that's a huge hit. You're taking all the risk. They're taking all your money. All right, down to the juicy stuff. I've been talking about holding a runestone for quite some time on this channel. It was a free airdrop to people who held three ordinals or more before a specific date and traded pretty low for a while. Well, currently, they just did their airdrop this morning at the time. I'm making this video dog go to the moon it is sitting at a around a 320 dollars million market cap this tweet wasn't that long ago which by the way if you're not following me on twitter it's chris coffee eth i post all the time all day long constant updates definitely give me a follow there so dog to the moon the price that was currently trading at the time making this tweet which is not far from that right now was 0 0.048 um which is around three thousand dollars with a 350 million dollar market cap and then runestones are still at 0 0.025 uh so so meaning that if you simply just had the runestone and held it and then received the airdrop, you are probably above more in the green than almost everyone who sold the runestone before the airdrop snapshot was taken. People were speculating on that. Now there was of course some sales between 0 0.08 and 0 0.09 where some people got out above what this would have been, but that was maybe for a two week span. Whereas the rest of the people that sold probably sold for the same or under what currently the airdrop combined with holding the runestone would be since our last video magic eden actually introduced runes you just click select a rune as you can see dog go to the moon is what we were talking about but you could also find a lot of others and see your own balances so go to dog go to the moon and you can see right now that there's 99 pending buys um the floor price is around 2,874, around the same when I made that post earlier with a $322 million market cap. Um, so, you know, as I said in my last video, I do think a lot of these have potential to hit $1 billion market caps with Dog Go to the Moon is one of them. Uh, so it's already on its way there. That being said, I would not be surprised to see a dip as the first day all these launch. There's always, of course, a lot of buyers and there's usually a dip that follows mixed in with everything else. Nothing in these videos is financial advice, just speculation and observation. So here's one of the biggest pain points for runes. Uh, is that the barrier to entry is usually large because you have to sell them in packets. I'll show you in just a few minutes on how to separate those packets. But essentially, if you're not separating them, you just receive your airdrop, want to sell it, you have to sell it for $2,800 and you have to find a buyer for $2,800. So that's very similar to the NFT market where you can't just sell individual tokens. But this actually can be solved soon. Here's a clip and explanation of kind of what I mean by that. That is not how the experience is going to be forever because from the org client it's Itself, from the software itself, I can send you one Satoshi Nakamoto. So from a software and a technical standpoint, we have the ability to split them down to the decimal level, even which is not being realized right now. So when the rune says it has divisibility of eight, it's describing they can have essentially eight decimal division down even further, further more so. And when their value goes up, 
then if Satoshi Nakamoto one token ends up being worth a couple of thousand dollars, if that's where it ends up being, you might not want to be transferring one at a time. You might want to transfer a quarter of it, so on and so forth. So if it has divisibility available, you're even going to be able to do that. The software and the architecture allows it. The infrastructure, the UX, the D apps, they have to catch up to it, but that's what's exciting for us builders. We're excited to build those solutions now because Runes allows that. So once builders take over and build out some of the UI, they're going to make this a lot more seamless. For now, you can actually separate yourself. This actually got significantly easier right when I was making this video, so I'm using a new way. Go to Magic Eden, head over to your portfolio, click on the arrow next to your balance, click split on whichever UTXO you'd like to split, and then boom! You can go from larger packets to smaller packets. That way you don't have to sell a whole three, five, 10 grand at one time. You could split that in half in 75% or whatever you'd like to do. And that will allow you, if you have a lot of this token, you have $10,000 worth of this token, you can split $5,000 worth on one wallet, 5,000 in another wallet, um, and then go from there. Now, of course, as anything else, I would recommend doing test batches with something you're a little bit more comfortable with using or losing, uh, something you don't really care about. That way you're not doing a large amount of money at one time, and maybe you don't have any practice doing that. Just like literally anything in crypto, it's almost like that test transaction. Now, the last thing I wanna look at before we look at some specific runes is this swap feature that's coming soon. Uh, so essentially, a to my understanding, the swap feature is going to allow you to swap back and forth. Like let's say, instead of selling your dog go to the moon because you want to buy some Satoshi Nakamoto, you can just swap dog go to the moon for Satoshi Nakamoto, which would be really cool. There's also a lot of other things coming like borrowing and lending for runes and a lot of other things that builders are developing right now. So those are pretty exciting to see. Well, all that being said, let's take a look at some specific runes that have sparked my interest over the last 24 hours. Here's a chart of the top 20 that was made 17 hours ago. So some of this is changed. We'll look at that in just a minute. But with Fehu being at the top, uh, Fehu was actually 99% pre-mined. People were just speculating on it because 1% was being able to be mined for the public. I did go ahead and mint some myself uh, just to kind of like speculate on that. But it's definitely a scary thing when somebody owns 99% supply. That being said, they were the first rune that was not Casey's. They paid over half a million dollars uh, to be able to etch that. So we'll see what goes on with that. Number two, of course, is Arsic. I talked a lot about Arsic and RuneCoin on this channel. Number three was Satoshi Nakamoto. Um, Satoshi Nakamoto, again, was another one that was like up big from Mint and actually pushed up a lot since this. So you can see right here, the price change was negative uh, 28%. Uh, but if we actually go look at it right now, Satoshi Nakamoto did a pretty good run today. It's back up to $360 for the lowest packet of 100. Um, now, again, if you minted this, you probably paid one or 200 in gas. You're up almost 2X if you minted it. Uh, the low, if you caught it, was 200 something thing the high was like upwards of 800 uh, and it's currently sitting at a 75 million dollar market cap it is i believe already listed or to be listed on gate io um, and for a lot of these things we're just kind of banking that we'll see billion dollar market caps for a couple of the top running uh, runes tokens and this is definitely in my opinion i mean it's number six uh, it's always in the conversation it's satoshi nakamoto i think that this is one of the safer picks regarding runes i personally really like the ticker is elsa um, it's number 242 it's sitting at a three 3.6 million dollar market cap um the lowest price you can buy at with these split right here is 568 dollars so th there's no like lower packets that i see they might be listed a little higher up and uh, i think this one is interesting so i'll explain it a little bit basically the ticker is elsa is based off of hal finney's dog hal finney was an early developer on bitcoin he was the first person to mine bitcoin besides satoshi himself and a lot of people actually believe hal finney to be satoshi he died of als around the same time that satoshi was never seen or heard from again there's a lot of around that of course a lot of speculation but i also think that if this hits uh, exchanges i think just seeing elsa elsa people i mean that's one of the most popular cartoons in the world or disney shows in the world i think a lot of people will recognize that and maybe that'll spark their attention without even having to know the whole like side dialogue about how finny and maybe it will create that like smaller niche group that understands that um i don't own any ticker of elsa yet I would like to buy some. I don't know when my entry would be, but it's just interesting to watch that. With that being said, my last video was on the top five rune choices that I had at that time. I plan on making another five soon. This video was more so to update you on the current standing of runes, what's happening macro, where it's going. And I think in conclusion, our runes dead. Absolutely not. I think everyone expected a lot of hype at the beginning, things to fiddle out. Same thing, same thing happened with BRC20s and ordinals. Uh, people will build better UI. They will, developers will build better tools. They'll be able to swap and introduce more liquidity. And I think things can go great from there. Only time will tell. Nobody has a crystal ball. Hope this helps.